Okay, I think we're ready to go. This is the drive. It's not too bad, it's just got all this white lichen or lichen, however you say it. And then we've got the other portion over there. I'm all set up with the Vita Bowser. That doesn't look like it's uh, doesn't look like it's filling very fast, so I'll have to check that out. And then we've got the Honda machine from Sales and Service. We're going to show the show off the turbo nozzle today. Looking forward to testing that. Big old area to be fair. It's gonna come up nice though. It's gonna look good. I think we might suffer with low water pressure today. That's been going for about five minutes. Still not even halfway. So that's not a good start. We'll make it work. Just waiting for the tank to fill back up. That water pressure is not great. If it was faster, I wouldn't have to stop, I don't think. Making good progress though. It's coming up really good. It's like a different different colour than what I expected. I didn't I didn't expect it to be such light grey. And clear up all the neighbours' path afterwards. Making a right mess. It's going well though. Look at the difference.
Right, so I finished the first half. Which feels like no time at all. Really quick. Shame about some of the weathering where the car's been parked. It's like darker in the middle, but nothing you can do about that. Done all this bit. Through here. Then I'm going to start at the top over there again. It's going really well. Okay, it appears I've finished. I've rinsed everything down. It's important with block paving, uh, after you've used the turbo nozzle, to go back over everything and rinse it down because <clears throat> you get a lot of splash back. So where you think you've cleaned, um, there's still bits behind you. And if that dries, it's gonna look like you haven't actually cleaned it. So always rinse block paving down afterwards. <coughs> So, I've rinsed all the brickwork down, I've still got to do this bit, all the water and some of the leaves and stuff are blown down here, so I'm going to clean that up. Now what I think separates, I don't like using the word, but the cowboys from the people that, um, the reason I'm confident that I can charge what I charge is because I do a good, thorough job, and part of that is making sure you tidy up after yourself. So usually you have to clean the road down after you're done, which some people don't bother doing. This isn't too bad, there's just a few chunks of moss, so I'm not worried about that. But if the drive was going in the other direction, this road would have sand all over it, so it's important to do that sort of stuff. And the other thing... <coughs> the other thing is, now that I've rinsed everything down, I've scooped up a bunch of the muck. But in these gutters here, all these drains, or what do they call them, soakaways, these are going to be full, full of sand. I'm going to spend another 15, 20 minutes here, popping each, one's, popping each one of these off, um, scooping everything out and making sure they're f flowing freely. And I think that's the difference between a thorough job and just getting the clean done, getting paid and driving away. There's also another bit under here. I've rinsed everything off on the neighbour's side, but underneath the fence, there's still a bit of stuff that I've got to clean off, so I'll, uh, I'll knock and get permission before I do that. So I'm going to empty all this into <coughs> a woven polypropylene bag and that will drain <coughs> any water out the bottom and it will just leave me with the muck that I can dispose of then.
all done. Everything's washed down. Drains are running nice and freely. I'm going to head back to pressure washer sales and service in Eversham and return their machine.